Let's talk about building trust between you and your client. Now, trust really is the foundation for any relationship, but between your client and your yourself within the agency or the business environment, it's really, really fundamental. So let's talk about trust and what constitutes trust. Well, Peter Schultz said that there, were, there had to be two things present for trust to be there. One is care and one is competency. And he de developed a trust model that I'm going to show you here. So on the y-axis we've got care and on the x-axis we've got competence. So fundamentally if you're demonstrating a low level of care and a low level of competence really all there is is distrust which is something you really don't want with your client agency relationship. If you have a high level of care but a low level of competency it's just affection and then a high level of competency without the care is respect possibly. So for both factors to be present, then trust really is where you want to be. So I want to challenge you to think about how you are demonstrating the level of care that you have for your client versus the level of competency, just for a moment. And let's share some ideas for you. So care is fundamentally doing the right thing. So how can you demonstrate you're doing the right thing? Well, the first thing is to be present and engaged with your client. So at meetings, don't be distracted by your mobile phone. Don't be looking over your client's shoulder. And ask great questions and listen to what your client says. So really, you should be asking great questions 30% of the time and listening 70% of the time. Don't feel like you have to have all the answers all the time and be on sort of broadcast mode. Also take note of any um, personal information that the sh client shares with you. Perhaps they'll mention the name of their son or daughter or maybe they have a preferred destination for their holiday. So remembering those small facts show that you really listen and care. Another thing to do is to manage expectations. So never over deliver, uh, sorry, over promise and under deliver. You really, really want to do it the other way around. And then always do what you say you're going to do and be consistent. So that over time demonstrates a level of care. The other thing you can do is demonstrate competency. And competency is doing, doing something right. And this is really where you need to upskill yourself and make sure that you're on top of your game and on the front foot. So how can you do this? Well, the first thing is to be proactive and perhaps go the extra mile for your client. So give them something they're not expecting. Proactivity is one of the key things that client look, clients look for, for you to stand out among the other uh, relationships they have in a business context. So, for, for example, you could maybe, if you don't have all the answers for your client, involve someone else from your business that will help you answer the client's challenges. Um, maybe offer to do brainstorming sessions with your client. Go above and beyond really what they're asking you to do. Other things to do is keep on top of your game. Look at the client's key competitors um, in the industry press. Find out externally what's going on in terms of the business performance. Maybe set up Google Alerts so for your company brand brand name, for your client's business name, and be the first with the news, bringing them the information around the, the web. Um, internally, look at the company website information, look at the company accounts, look on LinkedIn to see all the, the key players. If you're going to a meeting with someone, then look up, look them up on LinkedIn and, and make sure you, you are informed. Don't always um, be, be the one that's going to receive information, be the one that maybe provides information to the relationship. So I hope that's helpful. This is all about building trust. So I look forward to speaking to you again.